Hi everyone, this is Alison from Medway Libraries bringing you a virtual story time this afternoon. Today we're going to read Come to School 2 Blue Kangaroo by Emma Chichester Clark with a kind thanks to HarperCollins for letting us read this story. Blue Kangaroo belonged to Lily. He was her very own kangaroo. One day, Lily told him that she had to go to a new school. She looked into his eyes and said, Will you come too, Blue Kangaroo? And Blue Kangaroo thought, Yes, and smiled his secret smile. Lily had to get new pencils and a new school bag. Her mother had made a little bag for Blue Kangaroo and tied it round his tummy. Hmm. I don't think he wants to go to the new school, said Lily. There'll be lots of fun things to do, said her mother. Blue Kangaroo liked the sound of that. Hmm. Aunt Jemima bought Lily a new lunchbox to put her sandwiches in and a tiny box of raisins for Blue Kangaroo. He's a bit scared about the new school, said Lily. Aunt Jemima smiled at Blue Kangaroo. New things can be a bit scary, she said, but he won't be new for long and he'll make lots of friends. Blue Kangaroo thought he might really like new things. Aunt Florence came with a new pencil case for Lily and a tiny pack of pencils for Blue Kangaroo. He's worried about getting lost at the new school, said Lily. But there'll be lots of people there to help him find everything, said Aunt Florence. Blue Kangaroo wanted to go and explore the new school right away. The next day, Lily's mother took Lily to the new school. Her friends Tallulah and Millie were there. They were new too. They waved at Lily. Hello, Lily. Hello, you two. Wait, cried Lily. I think Blue Kangaroo has a tummy ache. He, he wants to go home. Oh dear, said Lily's mother. Let's find your teacher. She'll know what to do. The teacher smiled at Lily and Blue Kangaroo. Hello, Lily, she said. I'm Mr Zoo. Hello, Mr Zoo, said Lily. I'm worried about Blue Kangaroo. Mr Zoo looked at Blue Kangaroo. He's so lucky, she said, to have you to look after him on his first day at a new school. Then she showed Lily where to put her coat. In the classroom, Mr Zoo showed Lily where to sit and she put Blue Kangaroo on the windowsill so he could watch. First, everyone drew shapes and coloured them. After that, they did numbers. What do you get if you add four and two? Four and two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lily. Lily put her hand up. Blue Kangaroo smiled. He knew that one too. At break time, all of Lily's class went to the playground. They played hoops and ran around. Then they had juice and biscuits. Blue Kangaroo watched Lily. She was really having fun. She is. All day, Blue Kangaroo sat on the windowsill watching. There was painting and sticking and there was building things with wooden blocks. I wish I could do it too, thought Blue Kangaroo. There he is. And then it was story time. The children sat on cushions in the reading corner and listened to a story about a dancing frog.
When it was time to go, Lily's mother was there. Lily had so many things to tell her. She didn't stop talking all the way home. See you tomorrow, Lily. Everyone wanted to know about Lily's first day at her new school. And what about Blue Kangaroo? asked Aunt Jemima. Oh no, cried Lily. I've forgotten him. Please, Mummy, can we go and get Blue Kangaroo? Oh, Lily, said her mother. The school will be closed now. But don't worry, Blue Kangaroo will be all right. He'll be there waiting for you in the morning. Blue Kangaroo sat alone in the classroom. At first, he felt sad about being forgotten. But then he thought, now I can do all the things that Lily did today. Blue Kangaroo jumped down from the window sill. He began by drawing his favourite shapes and colouring them. Then he got out the building blocks and built some tall towers. Next he painted pictures of all the children and did all the sums he knew on the whiteboard. Then he made flower pictures with glue and sparkles that glittered in the moonlight. While he was working, he remembered the story Mr Zoo had read about the dancing frog. Blue Kangaroo hopped over to the reading corner and looked at the pictures. Soon he began to feel sleepy. He didn't want to be too tired for school the next day, so he curled up on a cushion and fell fast asleep. The sooner he went to sleep, the sooner he would see Lily. In the morning, Lily rushed to school. Mrs Zoo was in the classroom with the head teacher. It's amazing, said Mrs Zoo. Who could have done it, asked the head teacher. Lily spotted Blue Kangaroo lying on the cushion. I know who did it, she whispered, and she hugged him tight. Blue Kangaroo spent the day on the windowsill again, watching Lily learn new things. She was very busy, but she and Mr Zoo kept an eye on Blue Kangaroo to make sure he was happy. At the end of the day, Lily went to say good- goodbye to Mr Zoo. See you tomorrow, Mr Zoo, she said. Will you come to Blue Kangaroo? asked Mr Zoo. Oh yes, thought Blue Kangaroo, I'm coming too. Before Lily went to bed, She put out some paper and pencils for Blue Kangaroo. I'm looking forward to school tomorrow, she said. Blue Kangaroo smiled his secret smile. He was too.